Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, uh, we will discuss the working principle of Babcock and Wilcox boiler. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce about the different components of the boiler. Then after uh, we will discuss on working principle of the Babcock and Wilcox boiler. So let I start with stoker. Okay, what is the function of stoker? So stoker means uh, it is a simple mechanism to supply the coal or to feed the coal on the surface of the grate. Generally, we preferred uh, chain type uh, stoker to supply the uh, coal or to feed the coal on the surface of grate. Grate means uh, it is a perforated type tray okay, on which we can put the coal. So number of holes are provided in the tray of grate. So after uh, completion of combustion, okay, whatever the S will be produced, it is collected in S pit. So the function of the S pit is to collect the S. Then after uh, we can use it in uh, cement plant as well as in uh, other plants, okay, as a raw material. Okay, so this is a furnace. So after the combustion of uh, uh, coal, the flue gases are generated. Okay, so to give the proper path of the flue gases, here we are using baffles. Okay, here you can see that in the path of bundle of tubes. Okay, this is a bundle of tubes. Okay, it is connected with the uptake header and lower take header. Okay, and this is a baffle plates. Okay, these baffle plates are provided uh, for uh, to generate the sine wave types of flow. So for that uh, we can uh, supply or we can use the uh, maximum surface area or we can say maximum surface area is covered to transfer the heat in between the flue gases and uh, tubes. So for that here we are using baffles. Here you can see that this bundle of tubes are connected uh, with uh, uptake header. This is a left hand side header. It is called uptake header and this is a right hand side header. It is called downtake header. Okay, this both headers are connected with the cell. This is a horizontal type boiler and it is a water tube type boiler because uh, inside the tubes water will be there and outside the flue gases are there. So it is a water tube type boiler and it is externally fire boiler and uh, here the combustion is outside. Okay, so uh, uh, this uh, header is connected with the cell. Okay, here you can see that this uptake header it is connected with the cell with a short tube and this downtake header it is connected with the long tube with the cell. Okay, so uh, to generate the sine wave uh, types of flow uh, of the flue gases for better heat transfer here we are using baffles and uh, the function of the baffles is okay so first of all the gases will pass through the superheater we know that what is the function of superheater superheater is used to uh, generate the superheated steam and uh, this superheated steam is supplied to the turbine as well as uh, uh, this superheated steam is used in some of the processes so for that so first of all the hot flue gases it will pass through superheater then after it will pass through the bundle of tubes so this is the second need of baffle so the uh, firstly the hot gases will pass through the superheater and it is a u-type superheater here you can see that and the superheater it is connected with the stop valve and the function of the stop valve is uh, to uh, supply the steam uh, to the prime mover whenever it is required or uh, uh, you can uh, control the flow of steam through the stop valve okay this is the function of stop valve and this stop valve is connected with the superheater so uh, this stop valve will supply the superheated steam to the turbine or uh, we can use it in some of the processes okay then after uh, uh, here you can see that the lower tech header it is connected with the uh, blow up pipe okay and uh, uh, sometimes what's happen okay some impurities are there in the water okay so due to uh, density difference okay the high dense particles are collected here and uh, you can remove the mud it is called mud box so you can remove the impurities from the mud box okay this is the function of mud box these are the water tubes we have already discussed there are a series of tubes here we are using which has a higher thermal conductivity uh, to transfer the maximum heat between the flue gases and uh, water tube so we can generate the steam uh, these doors are provided okay in the construction of brick structure for inspection okay whenever it is needed then after uh, here you can see that it is a damper okay uh, uh, or it will control the 
flow of uh, flue gases. So during the combustion, the flue gases are generated. So these flue gases will pass through in sine wave. Okay, because uh, here you can see that we are providing baffles. Okay, and these baffles will create the turbulence. So first of all, these flue gases will pass through the superheater. It will generate the superheated steam. Then after uh, here you can see that uh, through damper. Uh, this damper is connected with the uh, smoke box okay so this smoke box will collect the uh, all uh, exhaust gases and this smoke box is connected with the long chimney so from there uh, it is exposed to atmosphere then after uh, this is a main hole uh, it is provided for the inspection purpose these are the supporting beam okay we have already discussed we are using uh, frame structure as well as a uh, brick structure Okay, to operate the boiler, some safeties and precautions are required. So, for that, uh, we provide the safety valve, fusible plug, okay, pressure gauge. Okay, so the function of the safety valve means to uh, provide the safety to the boiler. Okay, then fusible plug. Okay, we have already discussed what is the function of fusible plug. So, uh, whenever the level of the water in the cell, it will be reduced. Okay, so uh, at that time, it will melt. Generally, fusible plug is mounted uh, in combustion chamber side. Uh, whenever the level of the water will be decreased, so uh, it is contact with steam and uh, it will not protect against the temperature. So at that time, it will melt and the steam will enter into the combustion chamber. It, when it will stop the combustion. Okay, so the uh, main objective of fusible plug is to provide the safety or uh, we can say it will provide the safety against the overheating of the tubes. Okay. So this is also for safety purpose. Okay, then after uh, it is a drum. Okay, all the safeties and uh, water level indicators are connected with the cell. Here you can see that it is a water level indicator. Okay, the function of the water level indicator is to maintain the level of the water inside the cell. Okay, it is also for safety purpose. According to the IBR, okay, minimum two water level indicator is required in the boiler. Okay, so the function here you can see that this water level indicator it is one end is connected with the steam side and another end is connected with the water side the function of the pressure gauge is to uh, measure the pressure okay it is also for safety purpose this is the overview of the different component of the boiler now we will discuss the working principle of the boiler how can its work so first of all through the fit check valve okay fit check valve the function of the fit check valve is to feed the water okay it is connected with the pump okay generally we are using centrifugal type pump okay to provide the higher discharge okay so it is connected with the pump so uh, first of all uh, we fill the water in the cell so here you can see that the cell is connected okay downward side with uh, short tube and long tube with the uh, up tech header and down tech header okay this is called header it is also used in uh, solar water heater this type of header okay so it is nothing else it is a distribution system to collect the water from uh, uh, one channel and another channel okay so uh, whenever we fill the water in the cell so due to gravity so first of all uh, it will pass through the vertical tubes then after it will fill the inclined tubes and uh, generally uh, we provide uh, 5 degree to 15 degree to provide the natural circulars okay, so due to density difference we know that okay in case of a fluid uh, whenever we increase the temperature so its density will be reduced so it will be collected top side because we know that the density of the steam is less than one and the density of water is 1000 okay so uh, water is remain bottom side and steam is collected top side because of the lower density okay so uh, we provide the uh, inclination in the tubes for the natural circulation so we can collect the steam at top side in the cell and uh, water at bottom side then after uh, uh, we supply the then after we supply the coal uh, through the stoker or uh, in some of the cases we are using trolley okay so first of all put the coal on the surface of the grate then after uh, combustion will start so uh, combustion means it is the chemical process with the present of oxygen and carbon uh, so uh, during the combustion the flue gases are produced so this flue gases will pass through the bundle of tubes okay so for that to provide the uh, sine wave uh, types of uh, flow so for that we provide the uh, baffle plates okay 
सो दिस हॉट गैस इज फर्स्ट इट विल पास थ्रू दी सुपर हीटर वॉट एवर द स्टीम इज कलेक्टेड ऑन टॉप साइड ऑफ दी वेसल इट इज ए वेट स्टीम बट अवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज सुपर हीटेड स्टीम ओके सो दिस वेट स्टीम इट विल पास थ्रू दी सुपर हीटर ओके सो द फंक्शन ऑफ द सुपर हीटर इट विल जनरेट दी सुपर हीटेड स्टीम सो जनरली सुपर हीटेड इज लोकेटेड इन दी रीजियन ऑफ दी बॉयलर वेर द टेम्परेचर रेंज इज हायर इन बिटवीन द फाइव हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस सो दी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दी फ्लू गैसेस विल पास थ्रू दी सुपर हीटर देन आफ्टर इट विल पास थ्रू दी बंडल ऑफ ट्यूब सो दिस इज द नीड ऑफ दी बेफल प्लेट टू प्रोवाइड दी टर्ब्यूलेंस एज वेल एज टू पास दी हॉट गैसेस फर्स्टली टू दी सुपर हीटर so this hot gases will pass through the uh, bundle of tubes and inside the tubes we know that uh, water will be there because it is a water tube boiler so uh, the temperature of the water will be increases and it will be converted into steam and we know that the density of the steam is less than 1 or uh, it is its density is less than water so it is uh, collected on top side of the cell and water will be remain bottom side of the cell Okay, then after this flue gases will pass through the damper uh, smoke box chamber and this smoke box chamber it is connected with the long chimney then after it is exposed to atmosphere okay so this is the working principle of the babcock and wilcox boiler 